Hey folks, pretty nice day across the valley. Fair amount of sunshine. Humidity was still down a little bit. Just some patchy clouds overhead from time to time. The fog kind of coming and going at the coastline. Got some cool pictures of that on Sky 5 out there. We'll share tonight in our Weather Extra on Facebook at 730. In the meantime, Future Track says it stays quiet for a time, but by morning, the clouds are back as we anticipate a very weak front moving through. And ahead of that front, enough clouds and maybe enough moisture for a sprinkle or two, but then the clouds just break and we get back to sunshine for afternoon. Should turn out to be a nice afternoon across the area's temperatures rebound back into the 80s once again by tomorrow night it's mainly clear and wednesday looks delightful partly to mostly sunny again but cooler the cooler air behind tomorrow's front will filter in overnight tomorrow night so instead of being in the 80s on wednesday likely will only be in the 70s all day long so a bit cooler but still at or above normal for this time of year we go into thursday then the clouds come back in again and by thursday night the chance for a shower is right back in the forecast one more time so your rain chances tomorrow about a 20% probability nothing tomorrow night nothing Wednesday and then Thursday 20% during the day we ramp up to 40% at night and that carries over into Friday morning as well as the next little system makes its way into the area and could trigger some showers here's where temperatures are right now quite a contrast 80 degrees in Rio Grande City 80 in McAllen and then it drops into the 60s by the time you get to Harlan's and Port Isabel South Padre Brownsville holding at 70 right now. Overnight reading should bottom out in the 60s in most areas, about 67 at the beach, 63 in Brownsville as clouds thicken up. And then tomorrow we start with clouds, we end with sunshine, and with that temperatures do climb back into the 80s once again, except at the beach about 74 at South Padre Island. As we look at the next three days, the normal high, the average for this time of year is 72. We should be about 10 above that tomorrow at 82. Not going to get close to the record. That's all the way up at 91. But then Wednesday, Thursday, we're a little bit closer to where we should be for the end of January, headed into February. Temperatures in the mid 70s for highs. Nothing below average expected except maybe on Friday. Bigger picture shows a pretty quiet day across the Lone Star State. Now just getting some clouds and showers working their way into the western part of the state. Another cool front. It's on the map. It'll push in here during the daytime tomorrow. Ahead of it, north of us, there'll be rain. Once again, we're on the very southern edge of that rain. And while we could pick up a couple sprinkles, light showers here, probably nothing more than that. By tomorrow night, the front is long gone. Clear skies build in for Wednesday. And then the moisture starts to pool again as yet another system digs into the southwestern part of the U.S., northwestern Mexico. That'll push another front in here Thursday night, early Friday. And along and ahead of that, again, the chance for some showers. It looks like with this, the moisture could linger behind it into Friday. While the front tomorrow, it clears out quickly. The one on Thursday night and Friday looked like the moisture could stick around for a day or so. And with that, it would be cloudy and a whole lot cooler on Friday. And then we bounce back by the time we get to Saturday. So there's your Friday front. Notice there's some snow in parts of North Texas. It stays in North Texas. Travel plans for tomorrow starts today in the 50s in San Antonio, Dallas, Houston. Much colder in Amarillo, 33 with snow up there. By afternoon, we bounce back in the 80s, middle of Texas in the 70s, 50s, and even 40s when you get up into the panhandle. So your first one five forecast for the coast shows this. Southerly winds turning around to the north at about 10 to 20. A moderate chop, moderate UV. No advisories right now with a moderate risk of rip currents. Tonight then, turning cloudy. Patchy fog shows up later, 64 southeast winds. Then tomorrow, morning clouds, a little fog, maybe some drizzle. But then the sun comes out. We're back to 82 by afternoon. Winds turn around to the north at 10 to 20. First one, five accurate with the forecast for the next seven days. The coolest day of the bunch, Friday. We'll we get clouds and it's a little bit cooler. But by the weekend, we're back in the 70s. But notice nighttime lows falling into the 40s over the weekend. So sunshine, but cool nights, very mild days. Tomorrow looks like a pretty good day. Maybe an early shower up to 82. That's your updated first one, five accurate with the forecast.